Right. Okay. Stuff and things. Um. Yeah, so I, I finally decided that I'm actually going to make videos about this whole van build thingy-midgy-wheelie gd because uh, I, w I mean, I knew I was going to try and do something like this, but I kind of flipped back and forth between thinking, hey, I'll document everything, and hey, I'm not recording on both audio channels right now. That's not really cool, man. Thank you. Both of the channels, please. I, I think we got this. I think we got this. All right. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was always going to make some kind of video about it, but I kind of kicked myself in the ass and decided, well, let's just start doing stuff. So I feel like if this is the first video, which I suppose that it is, um, I've got to start at the beginning. Um, I bought the van that I have right now, which is a 2015 Fiat Ducato. I kind of got it, and I didn't really do anything with it for a little while. Mostly because I was trying to figure out what to do. Um, it's really hard to to know how to start. I mean, it's hard to know how to start a big project anyway. Um, any kind of big project, getting that first thing out the gate is, is really difficult. Uh, but with this, it was a lot harder. I mean, I, I have really almost zero relevant experience to doing this stuff it's totally new to me you know maybe i mess around with a, a saw and a hammer when i was a kid and you know i did those mandatory metalwork and woodwork classes in year seven and eight but you know we just made trash let's face it i've never made anything that's not digital really um so I came in basically from square one and, you know, straight up, even with the first stuff, the, the insulation, the walls and the floors and the ceiling, it, pretty much everyone does it differently. Everyone is slightly different, at least. And there are very strongly opinionated people who contradict each other. Uh, the whole like vapor barrier versus no vapor barrier seems like I don't think that argument will ever end because I don't think anyone's ever going to take the time to do any kind of scientific experiment because it's basically impossible to do a scientific experiment. So you basically just sort of decide which one sounds right for you and then you just fucking go for it. Um, yeah. I ended up going with no vapor barrier simply because I didn't really trust myself to actually seal off a vapor barrier given my aforementioned lack of relevant skills. Um, which seems okay because I went for a, f a roof fan and a big roof window and yeah, well, I'm kind of getting my ahead of myself a little bit because the, f the first thing that kind of slowed everything down was, was the fan and the roof light install. Cause I found someone to do it, a reputable guy, reasonable price, uh, like a hundred pounds each. He did the fan, no problem, easy peasy. And then he came to doing the window and noticed a big crack in it. And so... I got in touch with the people who'd sold it to me and they were really slow to respond, didn't really take it seriously, said they were going to do something and then when it came to when they were saying they were going to do it, they just said, oh, no, we're going to try and repair it and, like, they just totally messed me around. I had to really kind of bust out the uh, UK consumer rights on them and, you know, as usual, when you do that, they tend to sort that out and, and actually saw it but it was a bit it was a bit of a nightmare it delayed things quite a lot because i did feel like that needed to go in before i could really do much of anything else that wasn't really true but it felt that way um I, there was a lot of mental blocks going on here like i think i think that's the case with anything like this but particularly for me i struggle a lot with doing stuff that i'm not good at and i don't do that well when I'm bad at things. I don't like being bad at things. I don't like not knowing what to do, not knowing or understanding what needs to happen. So, I mean, it got to about September time, I think before things really started in earnest in terms of like taking out the existing plywood and actually sort of going, right, we're gonna, we're gonna build a thing in here. Um, I got a lot of friend, a, a lot of help from a few friends. Um, one friend, Pete, particular big shout out to him like really sorted out the initial kind of design they're just slapping me about and being like right let's measure some stuff let's figure out what we're gonna do let's let's spec it out um that was really needed uh that was great 
Um, so we got started, you know, and we got the floor done. I, I eventually ended up just kind of getting ditched by the guy who was going to install the roof light. So I was like, you know what, screw it. I reckon I can do it. I'm going to give it a go. So I tried it and it was terrifying. Obviously it involves cutting a hole in a roof and not really doing it with the most optimal tool. I did it with my jigsaw, but I got through it. Like it killed two blades, but I did it. I cut the hole, it was a little bit too small. I had to do a couple of other cuts, which were kind of awkward, but you know, we got it in and um, it was quite late in the day. I didn't have much daylight at the time because I, I, I can't remember when it was, was at this point, but it was it was getting towards short daytime. Um, and so kind of rushed the, the, the ceiling part, the, the oh so important ceiling part, and uh, it ended up with a leak. Um, I tried to kind of go back and, and to plug whatever gaps I could see, but I mean, I think in reality they... they the gaps were not really visible. I don't think there was anything I could do after the fact. I just had not used enough. It was not oozing all over the place. Um, so yeah, um, that kind of killed it for last year. That was the end because th there basically wasn't a weekend between then and roughly when I picked this back up again that I could have done it because I, as I demonstrated by doing it again, I needed like two full days of good weather to, to get, get it off and clean up the mess of all the silicon that was that was on the van and get it ready for re-sticking that that took the better part of two whole days um so you know like i'd kind of i kind of given up on it quite substantially because i knew that i needed more time than i was really realistically going to have and then the world fell apart and i ended up with a lot more time than i ever anticipated having so i've been able to get stuck back into it and yeah i mean reinstalled the window and that worked it doesn't leak now it is tested um many times at this point and start trying to figure out everything else and like honestly in terms of where the van is at right now it has barely really moved forward from before other than the fact that it doesn't have a leaky roof light anymore i mean it's gotten to the point where last week is where I actually kind of made the most physical upgrades and changes. I've finished installing these big beefy battens, big beefy battens uh, for the wall. Um, they're huge. They're probably over the top. Uh, I haven't seen anyone else do it this way, but the one advantage of it is it, it's kind of nearly flush with the metal. So I will have a bit less insulation, but I'll have more space and that will hopefully be cool. Maybe, hopefully it won't weigh a million kilos. I don't know. Uh, we're we're gonna find out on that one. I'm a, I'm a little bit scared, um, but only time will tell. And the, all those kinds of things. So yeah, essentially, I don't know if all of this is introduction or if this is the video itself, but. I do have some footage of the process of doing it, um, which I think I'm going to review before I talk about it, because that seems like a sensible thing to do, doesn't it? 